everybody, it's Lisa Ng here, April 4th, checking in from the studio here. It's springtime here in Toronto. I finally finished my snake painting. I wanted to show you a video of it before I take it off the stretcher and start a new one. So that's the snake painting. It is my most challenging snake painting to date, mostly because it's just not like a straight horse snake, but like a tangled mess of one. And I'll come in here so you can see the details. The scales took a long time. This whole painting took me about three or four months. I'm really happy with the marble tiling. You can see some of the shadows I painted and the water puddles. And so it's loops are in and out of the bathroom here. I heard this funny story about how snakes are hiding in the plumbing of bathrooms when it's cold out, but now that it's warmer out, it's springtime, this snake's starting to come out of the plumbing. I did add in one thing of pink in this painting because I love the color pink, but I was minimal with it this time just because I love the way pink and green go together. I added one pink bar of soap. The painting is signed here, L Ng N G is how you spell my last name, pronounced Ng in English, but N in Chinese. And there are the hidden hearts. I hide a lot of hearts in my paintings, probably because I'm shy about my paintings, but I'm trying to own up to my feelings now. And that's the snake painting. I hope you like it. It did take me a long time. And I'm trying to do about 10 paintings of this size of giant animals in rooms, four by four feet. This is my fifth painting, so I'm about half of the way there. And I photographed it today. I'll be putting it up on my website soon. You can also see it online for purchase. It's going to be about $6,500-ish. We'll see. And I got more good news coming your way. Uh, my painting, one of my lizard paintings was recently selected to be part of Collective Arts Brewing. So they're going to print my painting on beer cans. Unfortunately, they're not going to be available in Canada, but they will be available in the States. And which painting did they pick? They picked the green and all lizard. Doesn't that look nice? Um, the green and all lizards are popular in the US, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, you can see my artist feature here at collectiveartsbrewing.com. Unfortunately, they're not gonna be available in Canada. I did talk to the organizer because I know some people are losing their minds and they're talking about driving to the USA to purchase the cans, which I'm super flattered they would even think about doing. Unfortunately, it's hard for them to ship beer in and out of the country. So um, I'll let you know the release date and where you can purchase them as soon as they let me know. Uh, you can also come to the website and you can see my artist feature, my bios there. I did answer some questions that gave answers that were interesting enough to make the website. How did you get started as an artist? And I've never answered it so detailed before. So you can go to the website, check it out. That's my cow painting that was purchased in Switzerland. It's kind of nice. I don't know, even know where they found the painting because they asked me to submit images to put on their website. These were not the images I selected, although it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, they must have went snooping on my website on my blog and thought that they liked this one, which is actually kind of nice that someone went out of their way to pick their own images to put. Who or what influences your art? And I find the answer on the website. I'm not gonna give away the answer now. Feel free to like and share that page. There's a little Facebook button. Share it with your friends. If you happen to go to the States and buy a few cans, let me know because I would love to have some extras. They're gonna send me maybe one can if I'm lucky. But if you're gonna make the trip, let me know because I'm sure some family and friends would love some extra cans. I also got a studio visit coming up with a potential art collector. So I had to round up some paintings and I'm doing some touch-ups. Um, here's the daffodil room in my studio. I picked it up from my storage space at Max Art. Um, it's a lovely painting of daffodil, still available for purchase. It reminds me of that William Wordsworth poem about daffodils. 
think it's called I Walk Lonely as a Cloud. And it's just a really hopeful image for me. I don't know if you know, but I think the daffodil is the official flower for the Canadian Cancer Society. So I guess people are always asking, how does your artwork tie into your work as a home care nurse? Well, that kind of kind of explains it. But more importantly, it's just a really hopeful and serene picture of daffodils. Um, I also got some other paintings out that I'm currently touching up. We got clowns in town for the horse harem, self-portrait as a horse. This painting I did while in nursing school actually because I would have felt like I had so many books to carry and just like the pressure and the weight of everything was on my back at the time. Things are a lot better now and a lot more comfortable with my job. I love my job actually. So I have a great day job and a great night job. That's the Bison TV, but you'll notice sometimes, like I've shown these paintings around town a few times, so they get a little scuffed up. There's like a little black dot there I'm going to have to get rid of. Either I use warm water or I paint over and mix the same color. So I'll have these paintings looking as good as new in the next few days. And uh, wish me luck in this studio visit. The collector does seem interested. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.